Hi, uh, my name is Lisa Balick with Somerset Travels, and I was just recently in Aruba at the beginning of November and um, had a wonderful time. I uh, was actually with uh, three other travel agents and we had gone down to kind of experience how um, you can travel outside of the country and um, what are some of the processes through going leaving the US and then going all the way to Aruba and some of the steps so that we could share that with our clients. Um, the first thing was find, getting the test here in the US. I'm in uh, located in Ohio and um, in the Columbus area and found that um, the test was very, kind of difficult to, to get, but once I found the location, it was super easy. This basically went through the drive through. It was almost like going to a fast food restaurant, just pulled up, had to self-administer the test myself and um, gave it back to the nurse and literally had my results before I even got home, which was a matter of 20 minutes. So I was able to upload that to the government site and get my approval and it was super easy. Um, I was nervous because I wasn't sure how long the process would take, but I was super glad that I was able to do it on my own so that I could share that with my customers and with other travel agents who hadn't been through this experience um, yet. Um, and the, the test didn't hurt, <laughs> which I've had a lot of people worry about that, but it did not hurt, it actually tickled. Um, but it was nice because they had the form. Then when I went to the airport, um, you do have to show your form saying that you've been approved to the um, airlines, so showed that to them. Um, and then it was just a very smooth process after that. Once I arrived in Aruba, um, it was even simpler. You do have an option when you arrive into Aruba to have the test taken there. Um, I highly recommend doing it ahead of time. It saves a lot of time. And um, now with the new CDC rules, it's a lot easier. You feel safe because you know that you have tested negative and um, which you have to to enter Aruba anyway, but um, you wouldn't want to be you know, stuck outside the country if you didn't need to be, um, but was able to show the paper and just smooth sailing went right through customs and was out of the airport within an hour. It was very quick. Um, I was lucky enough to stay at two different resorts when I was in Aruba. So I stayed in an all-inclusive and then I also stayed at just your European um, plan where you, you know you don't have uh, meals included and it was, it was wonderful. It gave me an idea of the two different options that are available in Aruba. And I um, was lucky enough to get in touch with the Aruba Tourism Board and they showed me a whole bunch of different resorts and it was amazing. Um, it gave me an idea of different clients that I have that specific resorts would be wonderful for, whether they're a family or a couple, um, whether it's all inclusive, whether it's not. Um, another thing that we did do that I had not done before with Aruba is we hired a local and he took us around the entire island. Um, I had not been on the other side of the island, just on the hotel zone area. And I was amazed at the difference of the landscape that is over there. Um, it was amazing. I felt like I was almost in, it felt very much like Hawaii or Cabo San Lucas where it has the very rough terrain and um, the water. Um, at the time he said the water tends to be pretty smooth but we were there when it was kind of rocky so we couldn't swim there but it, it just, it, it reminded me of uh, Hawaii like with the, the rock formations and the, um, even the little black sand beach that we saw. Um, but then we got to go over and you know, just right around the corner, we were snorkeling at Baby Beach. So it was it was incredible. Um, I highly recommend doing a local tour because we even were able to get to one of the restaurants over there called Zia Rovers. It was amazing. Um, the food literally was caught right like within minutes and you were eating it and it was so fresh, so good. Um, and I've been recommend that, recommending that to anybody who um, goes to Aruba. It was amazing. And the tour was too. I don't think I'd want to drive the tour. I know it has an option for an ATV. Um, he had a Jeep and he just got us around to everything. Um, we, did, uh, we did do a little bit of snorkeling with him too. And um, we're able to see some amazing fish down at Baby Beach with um, the reef right there. Um, and we did see a couple other areas that we were able to go to. Um, we also did another thing I highly recommend is doing the uh, dinner on the beach. We did that um, over, gosh, I can't remember the name of the restaurant right now, but it's owned by Amsterdam Hotel. Passions yeah. on the Beach. Oh, I'm sorry, what's it called? Passions on the Beach. Passions on the Beach. It was amazing. It was 
beautiful. We had this huge meal, um, tiki torches around us and candlelight. It was just amazing. And then just right, not even 20 feet from you is the beach and the water's coming in and out. And it was just an amazing, really, really nice dinner. We did that right before we left and it was, it was a great time. Um, Another thing I didn't really know about Ruba because I had just mainly stayed at the hotel is the easy access that you guys have uh, with transportation. Was able to get on the bus and take it right downtown to, uh, we wanted to go over to Flamingo Island. So got a chance to go see the flamingos. It was another thing, a must do because it was fun to see them and they have baby flamingos over there right now too. <laughs> um, so these are just some of the things I would definitely recommend. Um, but the transportation system was amazing. I couldn't get over how quick and fast it was and how inexpensive. And I can see why people choose not to do the all-inclusive option because there's so many wonderful places to eat. And um, we also ate dinner out on one of the restaurants that was over the water um, down by the Hilton. And um, it, was, it was a really fun place to, to just sit there and see all the boats and you could see people um, water skiing and doing the kite surfing. It was um, very, very neat. Um, but uh, those are some of the things I would recommend. Um, just wanted to sign out. Uh, this is Lisa Balick with Somerset Travels, and I appreciate you letting me be a part of this. Thank you.